have one more question and I'll um, allow other people to speak. Um, how is he able to go get on the phone and talk to you so often? Well, before I left, I was paying for it. So this, the Securus uh, is an application that is connected to the jail. And Kendra asked me that same question, and I don't know exactly, but I would imagine that Securus brings revenue to the jail. So they allow inmates to speak who have the ability to pay for it between a certain time frame. And so I was funding that process up until now. So what means of finances they have now, I don't know. But um, it could be some type of legal violation to cut an inmate's phone calls off without due justification. But prior to me leaving, I was paying for it. That's how the phone call stayed on. Six hours a day, 10 to 1, 5 to 8. Not to mention that that also was a contributing factor to me understanding that he didn't really give a shit about proper financial management or energy investment because on one hand, you're sucking the finances to be on the phone and then at the same time simultaneously asking us to finance a lawyer. One of the big questions was how is Nature Boy able to talk as much as he's able to talk while in prison um, to the girls? And uh, Aaron, a.k.a. True, had explained that when he was still there prior to him leaving, he was the one that was funding that selfish act, basically, um, is how he put it, because reason why I say is how he put it he started to realize that was another thing that was getting underneath his skin is the fact that you want to be able to talk from the time you're able to locked up all day long not being mindful that that costs money to fund that but then you also want us to hire you uh, a paid lawyer you know you can tell in the interview that a lot of what Aaron was saying was he, he started to realize that Nature Boy was for self. He's very selfish. Um, you know, there's no etiquette there, no home training. You know, he didn't look at look at it like, you know, let me, you know, cut down the calls and be mindful because it's not my money that is doing this. It, it's, it's somebody else's. And they're trying to look out for me and make sure that I'm okay. And I need to be mindful of that. He wasn't. Um, and just quickly to touch on a point um, that I wanted to add concerning why why are, you know, the remaining women still there. You have to consider the fact that when you recognize how stupid you've been, um, you also have to realize that you have to come to terms with that and admit that. Um, and I know a lot of people in the public, they've been saying that maybe if they had cut his calls, or taking them away, it'll give the women time to sit with themselves and make the decision whether or not to stay or to leave. I, I don't, I don't really think I, it does make sense, but I think that in their own due time, and, and just with seeing who already have left and who's getting on these panels and what their thoughts are, and I'm quite sure they can relate to what the ex members are saying. I think that's enough um you know strength for them to leave just seeing that rather than taking nature boy's phone privileges away i think that that's more powerful seeing other people leave that had a hard time doing it i think that is going to eventually make them wake up and say i can do this too being back you know, in my right state of mind, I've been asked questions, you know, just regular questions that humans ask each other who haven't seen each other in, in a while. Hey, what what have you been doing? What, you, what you've been up to? And that typically triggers feelings of 
stupidity in your own self. You feel stupid when you really don't have an answer or haven't really processed the full answer of what exactly you've been doing the last four years. You know, if it- so I, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him a little bit of credit when it comes to that. That I believe that um, eventually they will wake up and see the light, and it won't have to be that you know Nature Boy's calls are restricted you know, in order for them to leave, they're going to, they're going to get tired of being tied on their own and they're going to leave. Now, allegedly I haven't got to that point of the live. It's a lot of information and material, uh, n- n- not material. Uh, Malia and nature boy really are not the way they make it out to be in the public. They actually can't allegedly stand each other. So, you know, maybe just that, dysfunctional relationship that's going on the probably the feuding back and forth while he's in jail maybe malia will get tired you know just because of that and leave because of those reasons people have to do things in their own time you have to give it some time for them to see the light we can't make them see the light and also we have to understand that you can lead a horse to water, but you cannot make them drink ultimately. And we just have to respect the process and respect the decisions that they're either going to make or not. And if they make the decisions um, to leave Nature Boy, then that's a great thing. And if they don't, there's nothing that we can do but just wait and... Um, just hope for the best you know nature boy right now is in fact able to make phone calls and quite frequently and he's now you know in their head day in and day out um that's the only way he's going to be able to keep control to keep them um holding him down he has no one else besides keys and i'm quite sure keys can only play um you know supported to him to a certain you know extent he has his own life you know having the women there they don't have a life they made their life about nature boy so it's more convenient for them to be around than even keys they can do more for him than even keys can do so you know right now nature boy is on thin ice we don't we don't know what vulnerable state these women are in hopefully they're in a state where they're at the point of they're tired of being tired they're even tired of having to care for malia as the chiefess aka the queen and they see that and they end up leaving um you know there's people planting seeds that zoka already left i don't know i saw zoka about a week ago it could have been longer than that and i've heard her in the background probably not even a week ago so you know but like i said you know it's funny games people planting seeds zoka left zoka's there maybe they're planting the seeds for people to run with these narratives but the joke is really on these women that are still left because we're not the ones suffering we're the ones looking at the content and we're the ones feeling bad saying we're glad that we're not in their shoes because it's a it's a real tragic situation mentally physically and spiritually to see these women putting themselves through something that is a choice and they choose to stay in this mess so you can't blame no one but them just like we can't make nobody but them do the right thing when they feel it's the right time